Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by Easy Council. Module Mobile Hacking Section Introduction. Mobile devices, smartphones are more than just phones now. They are personal business assistant with sensitive information stored on it. Smartphones are used for communication, chatting, messaging, planning and organizing users' work, use camera and store photos and videos, online shopping, banking, gaming, surfing, etc. For organizations, these technologies are a source of new risk. Smartphones collect and store sensitive information that need to be protected to protect the privacy of the user and the intellectual property of the company. The attacks exploit weakness and vulnerabilities in smartphones through SMS, MMS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, browsers, and operating system. Attacks are categorized based on communication, that is SMS, MMS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GSM networks. SMS and MMS can be used to organize DDoS attacks. Malicious apps install softwares to send personal data to the app owner or to all the contacts in the address book. Attacks based on the communication networks like GSM, the attacker may try to break the encryption of the mobile network. Mobile phones using 3G or 4G have much stronger encryption than 2G GSM. Access point spoofing. An attacker can try to eavesdrop on Wi-Fi communications to derive sensitive information like username and password. Do not use WEP keys as it is weak. Use always WPA security protocol. WPA is based on TKIP which uses pre-shared key. WPA2 is an improvement over WPA and safe enough to withstand brute force attacks. The attacker can intercept the data if the data transmitted is not encrypted. There are increasing attacks over the Bluetooth also. Kabir is a worm that spreads via Bluetooth connection. The worm searches for nearby phones with a Bluetooth in discoverable mode and sends itself to the target device. Attacks based on hardware vulnerabilities. Juice jacking is a physical or hardware vulnerability specific to mobile platforms. Using the dual purpose USB charge port, many devices have been susceptible to exporting data or malware installed onto a mobile device utilizing the malicious charging kiosk set up in public places or hidden in normal charge adapters. Jailbreaking is when mobile device users initiate the hack into the devices to unlock it and exploit weaknesses in the operating system and to customize by installing applications, change system settings that are not allowed on the device. This exposes the device to a variety of malicious attacks. A smartphone user is exposed to various threats and these threats can disrupt the operation of the smartphone and transmit or modify the user data. There are three prime targets for the attackers, data, that is sensitive information like credit card numbers, authentication information, private information, logs, etc. Identity. The attacker may steal the identity of the owner to commit offenses. Availability. Attacking the smartphone can limit the access to it and deprive the owner of its use. Trojan swarms, virus, ransomware, spyware, all these are malwares. The attack on smartphone by the malware happens in three phases. That is infection of the host, accomplishment of its goal or objective, and spread to the other systems. It may use the address book or the email address of the person to infect the user's contacts. The malware exploits the trust that is given to the data sent by the acquaintance. Mobile ransomware is a type of malware that locks users out of their mobile devices until they pay a ransom amount. When a smartphone is infected by an attacker, the attacker can attempt several things. The victim's phone becomes a zombie to send spam SMS and emails, call other numbers, record conversations, steal users' identity to impersonate the owner, discharge the battery to make it dead, prevent operation, or corrupt OS, Copy victims' personal data or professional data. Mobile attack vectors are numerous. Some of them are categorized below, but not limited to these. The first one being malwares, virus, trojans, spyware, rootkits, 
which modify the operating system and the apps. Data manipulation. Data is copied unauthorizedly, monitor the user's activity, tamper the data, modification by another app, undetected, steal the tamper attempts, jailbreak the device, loss of data by the device theft, installing vulnerable apps, phone in the wrong hands or someone gains physical access. This is Symantec's Mobile Threat Intelligence Report, 10 years of iOS. Number of batch diverse CVs per year, that's increasing by year by year. In 2017, there is projected to be 643. Vulnerabilities grow with the technology and focus. Vulnerabilities are uncovered and patched regularly. Apple patches each vulnerability and they announce it publicly so that everyone knows what the flowers in the past versions of the operating system and gives them the opportunity to upgrade their device to the newer and safer versions. These are the ways to infiltrate an iOS device. Malicious apps, gen broken devices, malicious settings, app store, operating system vulnerabilities and leveraging the cable, charging cable. This is the mobile malware kill chain. For the remote mobile, it all starts with the social engineering to get the victim to click or install something. Then exploit jailbreaks the device, infiltrate the device with a malicious code, hide the existence of the infiltration, install the code to make the infection persist across restarts, retain access, allow remote control and monitoring, read and edit send and to end encrypted communication, access GPS, camera, microphone, SMS, email, and other apps. This is Mobile Threat Intelligence Report Q42016 from Semantic. Number of hidden apps are increasing enormously. Trojans, adware, unwanted apps, these are increasing. Just read this report for more information. This is Mobile OS vulnerabilities of Android and iOS. Sources Meter Corporation. This is a SkyCure mobile threat risk score. As per this, over half of the devices are risky. And SkyCure recommends three ways to keep your mobile device safe. Don't click, install, or connect to anything that is not safe. Always update to the latest security patches as soon as it is available for your device. Protect your device with a free mobile security app like SkyCure. F-Secure Cybersecurity Report is available at this link. This is report from McAfee. Mobile malware developers are increasingly targeting IoT devices. There are more than 2 billion smartphones around the globe, making them a rich target for the malware authors and other cyber attackers. McAfee estimates that there are already more than 50 billion IoT devices in operation and the number is growing rapidly. Most of the devices, the manufacturers have prioritized their operations for convenience and time to market, often leaving the devices more vulnerable to compromise than mobile phones. Thanks for watching.